Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Cheevits. Today, I'm here to bring you a manga chapter review of One Piece. So, this week's chapter of One Piece, it focuses on Kyrdos versus Diamante's fight. And so, it seems like Oda is going to be saving Pika versus Zoro for last, which is quite shocking because... I mean, you would expect that the Zoro and Pika fight would kind of get finished first since it's been ongoing for, God, about 15, 20, or even more than that. It's been going on going for a long time, that fight. And so, it's kind of shocking to see how we're getting Diamante and Kyrdos' fight in this chapter. But regardless of that, the chapter is really good and I like getting to see the structure of it. So, let's dive into these gritty details. So, the chapter, for the most part, is a fight and getting to see... The embodiment of anger that is Kyoto. Seeing him charge in to attack Diamante with nothing but brute force, strength, and anger. That's that's pretty much what the chapter was. And at the end of the chapter, of course, Diamante was taken down. We don't know officially if he's 100% down on the ground yet, but you can assume he is because his sword is shattered. He was sliced through his sword. Kyoto's, you know, giving him the death stare. So it pretty much is kind of obvious at the end of the chapter that you know, Kyrdos took down Diamante. But the thing is, okay, the main point of this chapter, I really liked it. I liked how Oda once again tried to flush out Kyrdos' character and showcase the actual characterization and development Kyrdos has gotten through the journey of this arc. Like, one main central point of Drez Rosa was Kyrdos and Rebecca. They, they were the two main iconic characters from this arc, besides, you know, Barto and Vinsabo. But the main two uh, iconic characters of this arc would be, you know, Kyrdos and Rebecca. And we got to see a lot of development and a characterization to Kiros, the toy soldier, and also with Rebecca. And I like how in this chapter, Oda placed in these little flashbacks to really showcase what type of development and different things has happened to Kiros through his journey of this arc. And I have to say, I really like how... Oda did that because it really added emotions to the chapter because I know when we finally get to this chapter in the anime oh dude it's gonna be sad because usually when it comes to the anime in One Piece they can nail sad chapters when it comes to sad chapters or sad flashbacks usually Toa Animation could actually nail these type of chapters really well for some reason and I can't wait to see this chapter animated because the chapters flow we'll had flashbacks in between some of these scenes along with how Kiros was determined to walk to Diamante you see him walking with one leg and you gotta love the overall you know meaning behind his leg when he lost his leg and stuff like that just these little you know like slight hints to uh, Kiros' character like this little build up to his character that we have seen through the majority of this arc like you know the meaning behind his leg you know him losing his leg he's like like, I don't feel regrets for losing my leg. I am happy I lost my leg. It was for a person I loved and cherished. And to see how he states that even though he's in a corner because of his leg, that right there is admirable. I, I admire Kyrdos a lot as a character to be able to still be happy that he lost a leg for his loved one. And that just shows you his entire character's mentality to be able to do something like that. Along with on top of that, you get to see how even though he was shot in the leg, his one and only leg, he was shot in the leg by Diamante pretty much being a jerk. He, he still managed to get over there to Diamante and slice him down. I mean, this man is made of iron will. That is pretty much what Kyrdos is. And you gotta respect the man at the end of the day when it comes to this chapter, the way he still stood for his principles, what he stood for, and behind his entire meeting with his daughter, with his hands, you know, his relationship to Rebecca. So many different things that his characters have for the buildup of this arc. And he stands behind it to the very end. Even in this chapter, he stands behind it. And he finally got the revenge for what he wanted against Diamante. So, I, I'm quite happy with this chapter. I, I like the structure. Like I said, Oda did a really, really good job when it came to the flashbacks, to the development, to showcasing all the actual trauma and issues that Kyrdos and even slightly what Rebecca went through through this arc. And I feel like Oda did a really good job, you know, kind of tying up this fight. It was definitely one of my personal favorites. Besides, you know, Hard Boiled Senior Pink from last chapter, this was probably one of my second favorite, you know, fight that's been wrapped up recently because just the meaning behind this had a lot of weight to the overall arcs. So, that's pretty much this chapter of One Piece. I mean, it's a very simple chapter. At the end of the day, you get to see, you know, Kyrdos walking through iron spikes come, coming and raining down him. He's walking. Just, there's a lot of different details you can pick from this chapter. But, I, I just love the, you know, way Kyrdos stood by his principles to the very end in this chapter to that fight. That, that was... 
That's beautiful. Really beautiful. So, tell me your thoughts. How do y'all feel about this chapter of One Piece this week? I mean, how do you feel about Diamante finally falling? How do you feel about Diamante shooting Kyrdos in the leg? Do you feel like Kyrdos might ever get another leg? As I hinted, uh, like, a couple chapters back, like, two or one chapter back, I stated it might be possible that Kyrdos could get another leg from Law or, you know, the princess, because... She could heal any wounds, and in Law, he could attach different legs, so it might be possible that he could get another leg. Do you feel like Kyrdos might do something like that? Let me know. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.